Welcome back, this is Random Gamer. In this video we will focus on the MEM research and start producing new items such as supercomputers and crystal oscillators. The complete list of all of the mods used in this gameplay alongside with mod spotlights are in the video description. I provide weekly gaming content in YouTube for free. I would be forever grateful if you could check out my merch. Only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Alrighty then, so first of all, let's check on our MAM and uh, do some uh, research. So we have uh, some research under the alien organisms and also Caterium uh, and yeah. So yeah, let's uh, take a look in each category and see if we can do all of them. Okay, let's do the object scanner improvements. Three seconds, very convenient indeed. Let's see what's the last one. Oh, hostile organism detection. We definitely have those. Alright, and there. Everything regarding to the alien organisms uh, are done. Let's uh, look at the Caterium next. Hmm, I see that uh, most of the recipes require, uh, most of the milestones uh, rather, or research require the uh, high speed connectors. Yeah. So uh, let's skip that one uh, for now and uh, see the other ones. Okay, we definitely have these. Alright, medical properties. Let's do that one. Done. Oh, medicinal inhaler. Definitely a very good thing to have. Perfect. All three seconds. Oh, and uh, let's grab some uh, fabric. Right, and there. So the mycelia tree is also done. Let's see, that one is done. Done. Okay, we should definitely automate the crystal oscillators for these. Okay, this one requires the aluminium. We have the sulfur done. Oh, we can do that one uh, too. Just in case. Let's grab some uh, empty canisters from here. Perfect. So the next things is the quartz tree and the caterium tree. So everything else should be done. So let's uh, start building the high speed connectors then. Okay, fortunately we have uh, all of the required resources being made already. I think let's set up a um, building over there. We already have some walls and, uh, and so forth. I set up a temporary teleporter over here just uh, beside the new build so we could uh, easily go to the storage and back so yeah this is uh, not that one uh, temporary is over here yeah so should have done it uh, definitely before also with the uh, previous builds but yeah no worries we will do this uh, from now on the high speed connector setup will be exactly the same as always with the manufacturers so four in the building and yeah routing the conveyors uh, as such. So yeah, let's uh, continue. All right, like so. Perfect. So let's uh, route the required items now. So we need the quick wires, cables and circuit boards. Let's do that. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky indeed. So the new building is over here and we have the cables right into the next door building and the quick wire and the uh, circuit boards are right over here. That will be very easy to route indeed. Perfect. All of the resources have been routed. And they also did some upgrades on the cables and the caterium wires. Uh, only the uh, belts. So yeah, not the production itself, but yeah. Upgraded the belts from here to the production itself to the Mark IV. As you can see, yeah, we're not producing enough to fill it, but yeah, definitely a bit better uh, delivery now. And uh, regarding to the Caterium wire, we are definitely doing a bit better because yeah, one uh, high-speed connector requires uh, quite a bit of quick wire. And as you can see, we have produced our first high-speed connectors. Perfect. So now let's route it to the center storage facility, as always. As a matter of fact, uh, let's not at the moment. I don't know if we need it in the future uh, so much. Maybe we will need it only to produce the supercomputers or something. I don't rem remember the recipe exactly. So let's set up a storage container over here just to collect them. Okay, so uh, something like that. We have 21 already, nice. Yeah, the quick wire isn't uh, even reaching the uh, final one 
almost at all. This is also not very good and this is yeah. So let's check on the quick war production if we can uh, make it a bit better. Yeah at the moment the belt is filled because of the buffer it had. These uh, five were all filled up but yeah this will change uh, very soon. We have enough of ingots production at the moment but um, we're only using the one side of it and uh, the same goes for this setup. So let's take the both of the sides uh, in use. And for that we definitely need to check on our Caterium ore production. So this seems to be not even filled with uh, the ore. Okay, we're only uh, producing 60 per minute at the moment and we have a Mark 1 over here. We can definitely uh, use the Mark 2 instead and overclock it. Perfect. 300 per minute uh, is definitely a bit better than 60 per minute. Let's upgrade the belt to Mark 4 now. There. Perfect. So the Mark 4 belt is coming in with 300 per minute and we're splitting it up over here with two Mark 3 belts and uh, merging it into the Mark 4 into the middle. And also upgrade these to Mark 4 and uh, let's carry on with uh, upgrading this setup also to receive uh, the Caterium ingots to both sides. And there we have it. This definitely isn't perfect and 100% uh, efficient but uh, it definitely is better than before. Let's check on our high speed connectors now. Getting along, let's grab these and see if we can do some research now. We sure can. Let's unlock these supercomputers. Nice. Okay, this one requires 50 high speed connectors and this one 100. So let's wait for these. And meanwhile, let's check um, how can we craft the supercomputers in order to unlock the geothermal generators and uh, programmable splitters. Ah, pretty straightforward. Computers, AI limiters, uh, high speed connectors and plastic. So I think uh, we can uh, set it up right beside to the uh, high speed connectors. All right, we have gathered uh, over 100 high speed connectors meanwhile and uh, let's uh, start the research of the power pole Mark III. And I have also finished the setup for the super computers. So let's bring the required resources now. <laughs> I almost forgot that we have the uh, routing done over here. So computers right over here, AI limiters right over here. The building is... Uh, okay, this is... Uh, yeah, let's fix this real quick. Alrighty. And uh, so where were we? So computers AI limiters right here. So not a great distance indeed. And the uh, plastic over here. And the high speed connectors next door. Sorry, let's route it. Alright, the power pole has been done and uh, let's do the inflated pocket dimension next. I finished up connecting uh, the resources to the supercomputer facility. I routed the high speed connectors directly over here. Didn't route it to the central storage facility. Facility. Not yet, at least. And the other stuff uh, were quite easy to route. And this is our first supercomputer done. Nice. I wanted to see what's the bottleneck on the high speed connectors now and it's definitely cables. So let's see if we can make the cable production a bit better. Okay, the cable production is definitely bottlenecked by the delivery of wires. So let's see what we can do about that. Now as we can see the copper ingots aren't being delivered fast enough. Let's go and see about that then. Ah, this is a very easy fix indeed. We are using the Mark II belt for some reason uh, still. So let's upgrade it to Mark IV and see where it takes us. Alright, now we are definitely delivering some more of the copper ingots but uh, I also noticed that uh, yeah we're not delivering enough of ore uh, to uh, provide for all of these melters now. So this is uh, just caused by the buffer it had. So let's upgrade the miner systems also for the copper. So these have been uh, Mark 1s from the start of the game and also the belts. 
surprised that uh, it took so long to have a need to upgrade them. So yeah, let's upgrade them to the Mark II and Mark IV belts also to cap it up to 480 per minute. Oh, before that, I uh, wanted to show you that I have uh, added a awesome sink up here also just to uh, get rid of extra stuff in the inventory. So yeah, when upgrading belts, I tend to collect many uh, items indeed. So yeah, let's uh, continue with the copper lines. All right, that's what I want to see. Full belts of Mark IV. Nice. Now we're definitely bringing enough of copper over here. Now notice that we have uh, the storage container for cables and for the wires also over here from the old times. So let's route these also to the main outputs. Now we can use quite a lot of uh, resources. We have been uh, gathering from quite uh, a long time ago. Now this is almost half uh, emptied. Nice. Let's check on uh, our supercomputer setup now. All right, set up a temporary storage container over here. Also, we have 19 supercomputers. All right, this one is done. Very nice. We need 50 for that and 50 for that. So 100. Meanwhile, we wait for the 100 supercomputers to be crafted. Let's uh, see about the quartz tree. This is the only tree um, which isn't finished in addition to the Caterium one. And we need the crystal oscillators for that. Let's automate this also. So we need the quartz crystals, of course, some cables and some reinforced iron plates for that. Okay, let's uh, see where we can set it up. The obvious place for the crystal oscillators uh, would be here because uh, the quartz is being delivered over here. The reinforced uh, iron plates are made in here and the cables we can uh, tap into from over here uh, here yes this should be definitely the least amount of uh, conveyors to be routed so yeah let's build a building over here like so so let's build exactly the same setup as always with the manufacturers there we go all set up regarding to the manufacturers so uh, i noticed that we need the quartz crystals and not the raw quartz of course so we have to set up a facility to produce the quartz uh, crystals from the raw quartz itself so i think let's uh, try to fit it uh, over to here we must reroute the uh, conveyor lifts over here a bit but uh, I think it would be reasonable to put it over here. And there, use the floor hole to upstairs 4 meters for every uh, conveyor over here. And also upgraded the quartz uh, production to Mark II minor and uh, with the Mark IV belt, which is uh, completely full now. Very nice. So let's set up a quartz crystal production now. And there we go, quartz crystal setup is ready and already producing our first quartz crystals over here. So let's uh, route them next door and uh, also start routing the cables and reinforced iron plates. Nice! All of the resources have been routed. And uh, as always, the bottleneck is cables. Let's see if we can still make it better a bit. It seems that the wires are the bottleneck. Okay, let's remove this one for now. And also this from the wire production. It seems that uh, we are producing enough of wires to fill uh, the whole belt over here. But yeah, it uh, isn't enough to feed all of these. So uh, these in total require 600 wires per minute. And uh, we're definitely not producing that amount. So we're only producing 300 per minute. So half of that. And uh, the wires are going uh, elsewhere also. Not only to the cables. Yeah, the obvious thing is to uh, stack up uh, one uh, wire production uh, on top of uh, that one. But uh, I don't feel like it at the moment. So yeah, let's uh, let it run. Let's check on our supercomputers production. Oh, nice. We have the required amounts. All right. The good news is that we have reduced 54 crystal oscillators. Meanwhile, definitely getting there. I'll bring some cable manually to make the process a bit faster. So let's provide some cables for the high speed connectors and also for the crystal oscillators. 
Alright, the programmable splitter is done. Let's do the final thing from the Caterium research tree. Geothermal generator. Nice. I did set up a temporary storage container over here to feed the cables in so we can speed up the crystal oscillator production a bit. We did unlock uh, the medical inhaler before and we can uh, produce them via the manufacturer which is a nice uh, mod to have. So I think let's set up uh, one uh, manufacturer to uh, to make them. Yeah. Hmm. I think the nutritional inhaler is even better because uh, this doesn't use so much uh, of the plants. So yeah, I think let's uh, do that one. Came to check uh, how are the Togo item collector uh, going and yeah. We definitely have some resources gathered over here and the thought of uh, using these uh, for the nutritional inhalers. We could produce uh, mycelia also with the farming mod as seen here. These cannot be produced I think. This is the only automatic uh, gathering method we have at the moment. We can uh, produce more when we uh, bring more doggos here but uh, yeah definitely we will set up the system right over here. So yeah let's uh, do a building with uh, I think one manufacturer for starters. Oh and before that we have completed the Caterium uh, research tree. So yeah perfect. Let's do the quartz one now. So we have enough for this one here. Yeah, let's start this one. Alright, set up a couple of things. So uh, a new teleporter which is called medical and uh, that's because we are producing nutritional inhalers over here which can be routed over here. So these are the inputs over here and we have a sorting system over here. So use the brand new uh, programmable splitters over here. So the left is nothing, center is any undefined and right would be these four. And here all of these small splitters are uh, splitting one of the resources left. So all of the four which are needed so we have a nice buffer of everything. I thought of uh, setting up uh, a straight one line uh, over here and uh, routing all of them uh, from one conveyor and splitting them here but uh, then I thought that we are producing unequal amount of uh, resources so mycelia would clog up the system I think. These couldn't even uh, reach anything. So this should be a bit better setup. In order to test it let's take these out and put them over here. Seems to be working fine at the moment. Already received everything and uh, producing the nutritional inhalers. Nice. Now let's upgrade these to mark 4 also. So then we don't have a bottleneck. Works like a charm. So let's uh, also bring the rest of the uh, items I have uh, laying around in the base and uh, produce uh, nutritional inhalers from these also. So we should have quite a lot. Yeah, let's grab all of these. Couldn't fit everything in here so we can just let it sort out itself. This is very convenient indeed. Nice, already produced 10 of them. Let's grab these and check on our uh, crystal oscillators. Notice that uh, for some reason this weren't here. So yeah, we definitely had uh, quite a bit of bottleneck uh, over here. I'm sure we can uh, house more doors. And look at all, all of these Yosa berries which are waiting to be processed. Oh my god. And everything we're filled over here also. We are getting full Soros container of uh, Togo Chow in no time. We must definitely bring more Dogos then. Okay, where were we? So uh, the crystal oscillators, let's see. Perfect. I think we can, yeah, confirm that and do this one. All right, three seconds. Okay, we can't do that one because we don't have the aluminium, but everything else is unlocked now. Epic. I grabbed some extra toggle cages uh, to find some more. We have two new victims. Okay, one. Let's also grab this little guy and let's see if we can grab some more. Hmm, let's uh, see about that meanwhile. Ten rubber. Very clever thing is to set up a temporary teleporter over here. So we can instantaneously go and get our rubber. It's on the third floor, yeah. And set this one to temp 2 and there we go. That's uh, yeah, kinda convenient indeed. 
let's put down a foundation to mark this done and also do the hard drive let's continue let's also grab that one and this area doesn't seem to have any doggos around maybe in the greener areas found another port which needs uh, 50 megawatts let's do the same with the mark to um, wind turbine of course perfect easy peasy oh, we have uh, heat sinks over here nice find and continue with our journey of finding tokos let's also grab this one. Oh my god you can see a couple of tokos nice one and two room for one more show yourself there we have it Fifth one captured. Nice. Let's return to the base and uh, take it from there. We are near to the copper outposts. Let's go and use the teleporter over there. Oh, and found another port over here. Let's see what it needs. Perfect. Oh, also power. And yeah, let's not die over here. And done. Let's check on our mam. Okay, still going. Almost forgot to put down a foundation. And let's see what's the loot around here also. Maybe something nice. Yeah, quite common resources. What a strange tree. Brightly illuminated somehow. But nothing to take. Oh my god, it's blinding. There we go. We finally found the copper outposts. All looking fine. Let's return to the base via the teleporter inside. Let's put all of the resources over here that we found and can use with the uh, inhalers and let's put in the new togos. One, two, three, four and five. Nice. Now we have seven of them. Epic. I hope they will uh, be happier afterwards. So let's check on the food also, should be nice. <laughs> it's so fun when they run towards me. Alright, so the bottleneck is better nuts at the moment. Nice, we managed to craft quite an amount of these. And uh, now we are definitely producing even more because we have yeah, seven togos instead of two. Alright, the hard drive has finished. Yeah, let's do that one at the moment and uh, start scanning another one. Alright, I think this is definitely it for uh, this episode. We managed to do quite a lot of automation and uh, automation of uh, new items to be exact. So yeah, let's uh, carry on uh, in the next episode. I provide weekly gaming content in YouTube for free. I would be forever grateful if you could check out my merch. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more content like that. Make sure to click on the bell so you can get a notification about future uploads. See you on the next one.